everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my channel for following me on all of my various and social media handles i appreciate you guys a whole lot i am not taking it for granted i seriously do so guys today we are going to be doing a very quick diy um okay we're going to be doing a very quick <laughs> A very quick DIY and drape. So, and this is like a, a trendy drape. Uh, if you could see from the picture that I have up here, this is another pattern of drape. So today I'm going to be showing you how to drape this, uh, to add this drape on your skirt. It is really simple, and I'm going to be using the freehand uh, method. I would have said let me use the uh, slash and spread and uh, method, but I think you will be able to achieve this using the freehand. So that is it. So most times when I teach, it depends on what i feel and uh, will be easy for you um for majority of the people to grasp that's what i actually use i, I can decide to do a pattern to draft a pattern or i could decide to use a free hand but if once majority are carried along i'm okay with that so that's what i'm going to that's why i've chosen to use uh, the free hand method to do this right now because i know some people are going to say why did you not use slash and spread so I could use slash and spread, but I chose to use the freehand method. So that's, I just want to clear that up now before I start. So we're going to get started. So I, you could see I have my skirt, um, the front of my skirt. So I've added my dart to it. So the skirt is all um, laid out. So for this kind of pattern, if you are going to be using the freehand, you are going to drape the fabric first. After draping the fabric, you are now going to place it on your skirt and then cut it out to the shape of your skirt. And then you are going to determine how long where you are you actually want your drape to stop. You are going to determine that. So for this, I think my drape is going to be stopping maybe around um, just um, below the hip, maybe like um, 15 inches. That's where I think I'm going to be stopping, either 14 or 15 inches. So once I finish draping, when I place, when I cut, I will decide that... So if you are going to be draping um, for this kind of skirt, this skirt, the length of this skirt I have is um, 40, this is 45 inches length. So in order for you to drape um, this skirt, you are going to determine how full you want your drape to be, one, how big you want the drape to be, two, and then how uh, tiny, big or tiny you want the drapes to be so you are going to put those into consideration and putting those into consideration and then the fabric that you are going to be using are you going to be making use of a suede that's this a suede that is in vogue right now or you are you'll be making use of a sequence or you'll be making use of a, a brighter satin or you are going to be making use of ankara so it depends on or a chiffon or organza so you are going to put all these whole things into consideration before you start so for this um, kind of um skirt if you are going to be using a bulky fabric that's fabric that is thick like a suede or a sequence so i would advise you could and decide you could do and you could use a fabric of about um so the length that we're using here since i say i'm stopping at 15 you could decide to triple that measurement that's that will be the length of the fabric that you are going to use that's like 15 now you could decide to cut out a length of fabric of 45 that's you triple the measurement and then the width for the width you just need to add maybe about um, three or four inches so what i have here the full width that i have here for this my skirt is 21 inches so you could decide to add about four four inches to it so it will give room for you to crease in the skirt so i'm just trying to explain this whole thing so you will actually understand how to do this so we're going to get and started right now and then if you are new to my channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel, please, I would appreciate if you would hit on the subscribe button, please subscribe. It actually takes nothing for you to do that. And then hit the bell if you want, you know, you want to be getting updates whenever I upload a new video. Hit on the brown, the ash bell, you see a bell, they just hit on it and it will tell you get all notifications and then you click it. So that's that. So today, this is the fabric that I'm going to, for the sake of this illustration, that I'm going to use to drape. So I'm going to measure out and the length that I have. So what I have here is about 32 inches. So like I said, depends on how full you want it to be. You could use um, 45. That's your measurement divided into three. So I'm going to start now. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to keep this on the side and then we're going to 
we are going to create our drapes here so you could see my um, the center of my um, fabric that i'm going to use to do my drape I, I ironed it out so just to create a line for me to know the middle part so here is what you are going to do if you are going to be draping you are going to make sure that your fabric maybe you would have um, finished sewing and then you turn it out or you could drape after draping and then you could line it just to make it big or if you don't want to line it you the front that's the top part you would have fold it in so you have a clean and um, finish at the top so i'm going to start right now so i'm going to measure how close i want them to be so this i'm going to use one an inch for the first for the first one so from this point here is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come to the middle. So I'm, I'm going to drape them, let them face up. The essence of draping them, let them face up, is I want it to have a curve like this at the end of the day. So if you want it to the curve to face down, you, you drape it facing down. But if you want the curve to be like this, you drape it facing up. So I'm just going to take from the center like this. I'll pin it here. This is the middle. I'll pin it like this. And then I'll maintain that pinning. So you see what I'm doing? I'll maintain that pinning to the side. And then I'll pin it down. And then from this side also, so you see the way I'm taking my hand, I'll pin it down. And then I'm going to come back to the center again. I'll measure. You can decide to do, You, I'll measure one inch again. I'll take the next one from this point like this. I'll pin it to this point. So you could decide to do two, two inch, depends on how big. You want it to be, I think I'm going to do like about two, two inches. I want it bolder. So I'll take it like this. I'll pin it to the down of the other pin on the center. And then from this point, I'm just going to maintain. That is, you need them because you're going to iron everything. I'm just going to maintain this point like this. So you see what I'm doing? I'm not doing it straight. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm bending it towards the top so you could see a curve like a curve now it's forming there like a curve is forming there if you do this with a stretchy fabric you get a beautiful result you just see the drape they drop on their own you do it with like a, a suede or a sequence it will drop so i'll pin it here and then I'll take again, I'm using two, two inches now, I'm not using one inch again. So I'll take it again from that two inch point, I'll take, face it like this. You could even do, if you want big bold, 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 you could do two and a half. And then I'll pin it here. And then from this point like this, so once I'm done, I'm going to iron them. So this part like this, so you could see the curve. I'm not going to take it straight. I'm going to bend it. You understand? I'll bend it. Let it go towards towards the other one. Let it go up, upward a little bit towards that one. And then you pin it down. Making sure you don't have any excesses. And then from this part like this, I'm going to curve this part also like this. So for a more professional uh, one, you could decide to use a slash and spread. So if I'm teaching this for my advanced and class, I would uh, use a slash and spread to teach them because that one is for advanced and learners.
but this with this you will still achieve the same result it's just that for that you will use a less fabric your fabric is not go really going to be wasted and so that's just the difference but the results they will be the same i assure you that Okay, so for the last one, here is what you are going to do. You are going to take it like this. So for the last one, I'm not taking the last one up. I'm going to bring it down like this. So in order for me to get this, you see this angle that I'm trying to achieve. In order for me to get this angle like this. So you see what I have. I'm going to bring it down. So I'm facing the last one down. So with that, I'll get this angle and then I'll do the same thing to this side. So I'm going to pin it on my skirt now before I'll stitch it. So you could decide to do this in two ways. But before then, you could decide to do this in two ways. You could decide to stitch it. You could decide to stitch it directly on the fabric or you could decide to go and just run a stitch on it on the center so it's balances it up and then on the side i think i'm going to run a stitch on the center so i'll go and stitch the center like this with a clean and matching thread so that's what i'll do i'll match it first and then i'll iron it and then bring it back and show you before we attach it on the skirt okay guys so you could see uh, what we have now it is almost looking like the picture i showed you earlier on so here's what you are going to do you're going to determine and the length where you actually want it to start from so you could see the cup so at the end of the day i just stitch this place so with a matching thread and then stitch the side so because of the excess that i made on my uh, trip so i have enough room so what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to determine where i'm going to start it from so i'm going to take it down up to about three inches from this point so i'm going to pin it down like this so you are going to make sure on this part you are not going to leave any excess you are not going to leave any allowance because we are going to stitch you are going to secure it down here on the machine so on this side like this so this part i started from three inches on this side so from this part i'm going to move it a little bit up because i want to be able to get that curve so i'll move it to about and two inches so i moved it up the middle is three and then this part also i'm going to move it up from this side like this so you're going to make sure so you could see that i have that curve here so that's just like the essence of what i'm trying to do and then for the down part i'm going to on this down part i'm going to pull this part like this a little bit down like this just to get this v at the down just to get the v at the down so you know i told you that you are going to use um 45 inches length if you want to drape if you want it to get to 15. you know my fabric was not really up to 45 inches so you could see the length that i have i use 30 i think 32 or 33. so if you use 45 so at the end of the day the drape is going to get to up to like this point so on this side i'm going to to take it like this also make sure you and i'm not leaving any any allowance so now i'll take it to my machine and so you could see what we have already have here i'm going to take it my, to my machine because this fabric that i use is a strong fabric so if you use a soft fabric it would it would drip more it would dangle more so we'll take it to the machine now on the machine i'm going to put a straight stitch here from this point to this point i'm going to run put a run run a straight stitch here and then i'm going to stitch just on the edge that's this edge of my skirt like this i'm going to stitch 
stitch it so the first thing i'll do i'll stitch this point and then i'll turn it like this on my machine so once i turn it like this i'm just going to stitch this edge like this and then i'll come back and cut it out so i'll do that now and then show it to you so this part one you're not going to stitch this whole part unless if you want to but you are not going to stitch it okay so i finished stitching so i'm going to turn it now and cut out the excess so here's what you are going to do you are just going to place it like this and then you cut from behind like this you use the edge of your skirt that is what you will use to trim it out so with that you will get it perfectly well okay so i'm going to turn it now okay guys so you can see what we have on our skirt it looks so beautifully well i'm just going to adjust my camera so you see it properly so you could see what we have so guys this is how you do this uh, kind of drape on your skirt and it is a trendy um style that just um that is in vogue right now so you could decide to try this out send your pictures your pictures to me at stylish niger sewing group on facebook so guys i've now come to the end of this um, video illustration if you find what i did helpful please i would appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe so thank you so much so like i said for better results use a soft um, fabric so you see it will drape more so you see at the end of the day once you 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 um see what is how it's going to look like when you you catch it with your hip and measurement so this is how inside is going to look like so you see you see how it is looking now so that's how it's going to look perfectly well once you have shaped out your skirt you see it is looking so beautiful so guys so at least we achieved it at the end of the day so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye